Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another 2-Minute Tip. I am Rob Cohey, Industry Solution Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing. Just reminding you to stop what you're doing because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. <laughs> I totally have that song in my head now. But either way, uh, this week's 2-Minute Tip uh, is... Uh, I'm doing a little sketching tip here. I was doing a webinar the other day and somebody thought, hey, that'd be a good, pretty good tip. So let's go ahead and uh, and work this out. So I'm going to start a new sketch in an inventor part. And a lot of people ask, you know, hey, how do you do a center point rectangle? Um, and there's a couple ways to do it, actually. And let me tell you what I'm talking about with center point rectangle. With the standard rectangle command, it's expecting you to do the lower left, upper right corner. Uh, or we have another rectangle option, which is a three-point rectangle. So you do uh, the first point, the second point in the line, drag it off, and you get a rectangle. Um, not necessarily what you're looking for if you're looking for a center point rectangle. So here's here's a technique that I've seen some people use, and uh, it's 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 an okay technique. It's it's the one that we used to have to use back in the day. So you draw a uh, a line from midpoint to midpoint, maybe make it a construction line, and then you do a con coincident constraint between the midpoint of that line and your projected center point, and ergo you have a center point rectangle. The one that I like to use is just grab a horizontal constraint between the center point and the midpoint and a vertical constraint between the center point and the midpoint and the other line and voila now you have a center point rectangle that is now constrained to your zero zero. Now that works great for rectangles. One that works slick for uh, squares is Actually, if you just go and use a polygon, so somebody asked me, so why don't you just use a polygon? Well, I guess that makes sense. So a four-sided polygon, hey, look at that, it's a square. So uh, change your number of sides in a polygon to four, and then I just go up, add a horizontal constraint to the top line. Now I have a square that is appropriately constrained to the center point, and voila, there you go. So there's this week's two-minute tip. I know you're singing that song in your head because I sure am. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, benefit from it. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, and don't forget to check us out at Manufacturing Community at mfgcommunity.autodesk.com. See you next time.